The society doesn't need too many smart people. They invented consumerism. They invite people to a worth it. You should buy it because you only live once. You still have credit card. These ideologies are developed by the higher class to rule the middle class and working class. Consumerism is really poisoned. Why most of them didn't realize that. Hey friends, this is Beck. This channel is about the mindset tools, strategy in terms of being a digital nomad, build your online income, and walk towards a happy life. So do subscribe to get more content. What is consumerism? It's a set of ideology that developed since industrialization period to encourage people to buy more and more. To amplify this kind of human desires, the most primitive, original desire, such as buying, eating, sleeping, having fun, etc. People who are from a wealthy class, they will claim that, okay, the whole society, we should do this, we should do that. But guess what? Actually, they don't obey that. The society doesn't need too many smart people. The education, the finance management, and the values towards spending are totally different. Just look at those politics. How many of them will really conduct and educate their own children for the ethics that they claim? In our society, there's such criticism that if someone doesn't work, if someone don't don't want to work, he's useless, or he should be criticized. But we have to ask, where does this come from? If we ask ourselves, we will realize that the desire that we don't want to work is the most natural process of mankind. People naturally don't want to work, and people should actually find a way to let them be able to not work but still get enough income. We call this passive income, but these kind of values are secrets that are only passed down through generations of the wealthy class. If everyone learns about this, who will be the consumer? Who will rule others? Who will let you to work in a company though you don't want? If people don't have enough debts, how come they work hard in a company in a competitive mood without the ownerships? Our society have a shift from this kind of production type of society to consumer society. In the past, the factory owners, the business owners, tried to have the workers to work in a not really good conditions, have them specialized, and made the products. These products are very cheap, and the business owners have this kind of desire to expand their empire, eager to expand their reach across different continents. And the workers, they are usually not organized. It is after some period, by the end of the 20th century, for countries like United states, they take a step from production type society into consumer type society. The difference is that they find that if they only force the workers to work, no one consumes and it's very easy to have troubles. In other words, this is a low efficient way of management. Thus, they invent a consumerism. They invite people. They tell people that you are worth it. You should buy it because you only live once. You should buy it because you still have credit card. You still have loan or interest are far away. Few people are educated about the compound interest. They don't know that just a little bit debt develop, there will be a huge debt. Moreover, they have no idea if they are light leaks. Their time, their youth will be read off by this kind of ideologies from consumerism. If the annual interest is about 20% or 15%, after three or four years, they need to pay 200% of their initiate debt. This is huge. Besides that, realizing and getting rid of consumerism is the first step to accumulating your own capital. If you are capable, usually the bank will give you many credits and let you to spend as much as you want. As a result, you need to pay back. When you work, you need to strive harder. You need to take more stress. Become senior leadership in one company. As a result, one day you find that, oh, I have so many money right now, but why I still feel unhappy? Why I still feel so stressed? If I create a job right now, oh, damn. That's such a bad sequence. I cannot do that. Thus, if we accept consumerism, we will get into this kind of expectation or income trap. Getting rid of consumerism is the first step to accumulate our initiate capital. When we realize the powers of compound interest, we will begin to save around 50 to 70 percent of our monthly income and put it in into our bank, invest it, or just save it and forget about it. Few people know that it's 7 percent. After 10 years, this deposit will double. And maybe after 10 to 15 years, we don't need to work. We can just live with the interest from this deposit. Talk back, if we really want to chase our happiness, 
business. If we really want to chase financial independence, getting rid of consumerism will be the first step. These ideologies are developed by the higher class to rule the middle class and working class. If we want to be smart, if we want to be someone really liberal, we need to shift ourselves to be long-term investors and reduce most of our spendings accumulate enough capitals. I will talk about other principles towards getting into the financial independence status. Don't forget to comment below and follow. This is Mac. See you next.